So with the new map, Frozen Over, it's actually a really nice map for water towers, and I think it'll be enough for it to make water towers only possible out of chimps. That is subs and boats on this map. Let's try it. Okay, I think an easy start is a boat, of course. Boat handles the first couple rounds really easily. Our game plan, I, I'm thinking. Care flagship in the middle, so probably this guy. 502 or 520. Probably 502 for the camo. But we can get a nuclear sub, maybe here or here. I'm thinking putting this bottom, this little bottom pond. Probably all subs. I think somebody showed you can get up to 9 subs in this area, which is going to be really good for sub commander if we can afford it. So that's what I'm kind of aiming for. Cure flagship, sub commander, nuclear sub to turn all the non camos, or turn all the camos to non camos. And yeah, we'll think about what else to do from there. But in case you didn't know, nuclear sub is really good at turning uh, camos into non camos, just because it instantly does it, not like BTD5. So if I put a sub over here, upgrade to 400, any balloon that touches here gets decamoized. Well with that said actually, a 300 sub in this in this uh, section is really really ass. Don't know if I want to try that. Let's do it though. Let's try to place these sub as low as we can. The longer range will help eventually as well. Just about the lowest sub we can get, so 100, 200. Actually, 300 ain't too bad. It gets a decent amount of the section. Let's see if the camo green can be camo eyes. Nope, it's gonna miss. There we go. Very last path. So, very, very iffy sub spot, you know. That's why we need this ASAP. Bluntonium reactor. I guess we'll start packing them together. Up to nine. So, let's see if I can do this on my first try. Probably not. Nine probably requires a lot of precision. Also, potentially, if we're ever in that position, we can potentially get a black border on this on our first try. Don't speak too soon, though. This round might require restarts. But yeah, I'm not really much of a black border catcher, whatever you want to call it. I don't grind for those black borders very much. I think I have two right now, as we speak. No need in getting a full page of black borders. That ain't my thing. If we get it, cool. If not, not the end of the world. Submerge now, and yeah, we're set for camos. Overall, it's a pretty shitty spot for a nuclear sub, though. Just in case you're wondering, or you're gonna call me up for a bad position, I know. We're sacrificed DPS, guys, for this. See the camo yellows? Instant. I think the hardest thing is gonna be D DDTs, for sure. If we do sub commander army, they won't be able to pop leads. Unless we get middle path, but for the most part, if you're gonna play subs in this area, you pretty much need advanced intel, otherwise... Yeah, if this guy had no advanced intel, this thing would read zero. So I don't know how to think about 90s, other than preemptive. Preemptive is definitely the easy choice, but it's so expensive. Like, how much is it? 48k for the tier 5, plus first strike, plus all the other upgrades, it's like 60k. That's literally a third of your chimps defense right there. Maybe put 024 subs in the middle. That's not a bad choice, but it's not going to do very much. Because Sub Commander without the MK, it's really only going to help the subs in this area. But hey, maybe we don't need Sub Commander for this. But anyways, let me just get our Sub Army up over here. Eventually we'll get a Carrier Flagship, I just don't know when. Which, by the way, is insane on this map. Yeah, it's looking kind of bleak. We have this much space, this much water for 7 subs. Can we do it? The thing is, we can actually place a sub really, really low like this. We literally have to move a cursor on the edge of the screen, or below the screen, to place it. Carrier, buy. And only 27k for the carrier flagship. By the way, I don't think this challenge would be possible on any other map, hence why I've been holding off this challenge till now. Just cause, well logs, you literally only have that tiny square, which can only fit 5 subs I think. Not even close to enough for water towers to take you to 100 rounds. Just in case you're gonna say logs. Cubism, same thing. The bottom right is the only place you can place stuff, and that's not a really good spot. And the top part, but yeah, too little water. This map has honestly not that much water, but it's enough. Enough to get us by. Oh man, we're actually going to afford this. 
if we can't afford it at the end of this round, then it'll be at the very, very start next round. Oh, man. That's how tight money is. 26-8. This one should basically give us 27. Yeah. End of round. Beautiful. 82 bucks to spare. Yep. Care of flagship. Easy work of 63. Nice. There we go. Blackboard is still in play. I just don't know if this, at this point, we should go for a preemptive. Because that's really the only way we're going to pop DDTs. Or consistently. Just one flagship ain't enough. Alright, it's going to be ballsy. How much is this? 54? Or 43? Okay, 43. Not as bad as I thought, but still. We have to buy this upgrade first, which is the thing that sucks. Gotta spend an extra 14k on something that you kind of want to avoid buying, at least right now. It's going to be useful for 100 as well. I think that's the only way we're going to deal with 95 and 99. So round 80, easy way to beat this. Do that, GG. Actually, wow, not quite. I thought it would one-shot it, but apparently not. There's still some remnants. I know for a fact in BTD5, or battles, that would have one-shot. So a little bit of nerf for the first strike this game. Anyways, here's free play. We got 20k to spare, and if this kills us, well, rip our black border. Although this round, yeah, I'm probably going to use the first strike. Just wait for all these normal BFBs to pop first. Like, not yet. Now. Alright, they're all 4 to 5 mobs. I don't know what to think about this. Mm, it kind of depends on RNG at this point. Where the aces line up. But I think either way, no. I think Black Board is going to be a rip. Yeah, the fact that the um, first strike ability split the damage. Maybe it's better to use it once like 3 BFBs have popped. Oh, there's actually five, four, five fortifies this round. Or just wait one by one. And that's going to do a lot better, I think. Yeah. If they split separately, like that, that is a lot more manageable. Let me use that right now. Yeah. First Strike actually did something there. Yay. That's how you use First Strike, folks. And I think that's going to beat 82. All right. Well, if we knew that, maybe we could have black bordered it still, but that's fine. Yeah, preemptive is basically the only solution to DTs. I mean, I could spam a bunch of like 220 subs, or 024 subs, but still, that's very, very sketch. And I'm not sure if I want to risk it. That said, this round's going to be tight. Very tight. But we're almost there. Might be able to afford the preemptive at the end of this round. 42.9, yep. Literally at the start of next round, we can buy it. There we go. And that should make these next couple rounds uh, a lot easier. Now, Subcommander. Now that we don't have to worry about DTs, it's time for the Subcommander. But first, we gotta get subs. You can't get a Subcommander without getting subs first. Let's do that. First strike that, turn it into mobs and BFBs. Just three BFBs to go. Come on. Come on, boat. You got this. Damn, wait. Wow, that was clutch. That was so clutch. By the way it looks, I think we're going to cap at 8. Not sure, though. Man, I hate how useless this thing is. Versus non dts Just that you need something versus Serams, and this is not the solution. Let me just do that. Might need some help versus these Serams, just because they're getting so far. Kind of spooking me out. That ain't gonna do it. Only Serams now, and hopefully we can deal with it. Come on. Only six more. Four more. Aw, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Three. Again, we have to beat this wave of Serams before using uh, the first strike on this one. How are we looking? Yes. And then first strike once all the once they all pop like this. First strike. And, alright, finally, that's how I beat 89. And now for DT is no issues. Because we got this guy, preemptive. Now, we really need a sub commander, otherwise we're going to be in deep trouble for the later rounds. Oh no, 91. Shit, this round. 
I'm not even sure if this is doable, honestly. Let's quickly get a destroyer. Might help a little bit. But still, no. Look at this round. Oh my god, that's bad. That's really bad. I think we have to restart, but I don't know how we beat DDTs without preemptive. This is a huge money snake and is only useful for uh, DDT rounds. Anything else and it's so bad, you just don't want even want to think about using it. And I am pretty sure... Yeah, we're dead. There's no way this is going to work. Let me restart. And uh, regroup. Let me just test DT rounds. Maybe we can still beat 90. One flagship is not good enough. See this? Is it actually? No. That's why we need preemptive. But if you get preemptive, it's rip. How about instead of getting a uh, flagship, we can try a sub commander army over here. So, I'm gonna do this. Play 91 out. This is about the same defense as it had, or about the same amount of money. Let's see. How good is Sub Commander versus uh, Flagship? That's a lot of balloons going through, but it's holding it off decently well. Hold on. And it's tight, it's tight, it's tight. Shit. Couple thousand lives lost. That wasn't, that wasn't too bad. Should we do this? Do it? Screw it. Let's go for it. What if you spam 040? Zero zero? Uh, there's no way that's going to work for his DTs. So that's not going to work as a replacement for preemptive. Just with these two towns, there's no way to pop DTs effectively without using that ability. Sub commander 024 will, might be DTs. Let me beat this round first and then I can show you if it'll work or not. Let's try 95. Round 95, let's go. Is this gonna work? DDTs without preemptive are pretty much not gonna pop. As you can see here. Why not 204 instead of 024? Well, that's because you can't pop DDTs without it. No MIB. And no MIB means no win with this strategy. So, in case you're wondering how that would work, there you go. So, how much money we got? 29. Wow, we're $70 short. It's okay, you can buy it mid-round. Okay, let's get a first strike first, like last time, but we're not going to buy this just yet. We're going to save our money. We're going to wait till 89 to buy it, because we don't need it for the mid-rounds, or the middle 80s. We're going to save up till 90 and see, evaluate how our defense is. So we got a max sub-commander army. I don't know if we want to buy armor piercing right now, I'm going to leave it off. But we're almost there to a preemptive. And hopefully with that, this different strategy could beat 91. Armor piercing does not help versus ceramics, so probably not gonna buy that. That's your biggest issue, ceramics. Not the mobs. Definitely not. So yeah, how much extra money will we have by 91? It's the only way you can beat this. Any other method does not work. Preemptive is a thousand percent guaranteed to beat this. Without it. It's game versus DTs. Come on, Destroyer. Come on. Shit. Uh, there's nothing in range, is there? No. Hold on. Maybe we use First Strike at a different time. So, I guess we use the First Strike yeah, at the very, very start. And then... Yep, yeah, here. First Strike now. We'll get a boat so that these subs can like hit the range here. I think we need that, honestly. This guy to bigger range. Like this. I think the first strike at the start was the uh, solution. Wow. Because that was hell easy. Wow. Okay, let's not underestimate first strike then. We just have to use it at the right time and then... You can get so much from it. Floaty boys for the win. Let's use first strike for this. Oh, uh, I don't know if that was a good idea. Was that a good idea? Because I don't know. I think that was a mistake. Whoops. I'm not sure we can do anything, honestly. If we're going to struggle versus this round, this round is going to be a rip too. So you know what? We should probably give up this round. Sub Commander, apparently we can place 10 in here, so we can definitely do a lot better. 
And yeah, for 99, this guy ain't gonna be enough, I just realized. You will need a, a care flagship. What happens if you do this? Yeah. Pop it separately. That's gonna do a lot better, right? Yeah. We actually might be able to beat 94. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Wow, I guess using the uh, ability is not a good idea. Because we beat it pretty easily. Okay, we need a flagship for 99. We are halfway to this, so can't buy it. I'm pretty sure with this round's cash, we can't afford this, but I'm pretty sure that this round is not doable. At least with what we have, and the amount of balloons on the track. We might need to try with 10 subs, if 8 ain't enough. Yeah, it's not doable. You know what, just because I want to finish this off, let's cheat. Sorry. Let's see if there's enough to even save us, because I'm not even sure. He didn't even uh, guarantee to beat this yet. Like, you see? Rip. Um, I'm pretty sure 98 is done for our current run. Okay, so just to make sure I don't waste any more time trying this challenge, hop over into sandbox mode to test how close we'd be to beating 98 if we had 10 subs in the middle here, so you can count. That's the max possible subs you can get in this tiny little pond up here, 10. Along with your usual defense. And you'll see that even if I play this round, we're not going to beat it. Despite our best efforts, so let me just use this right off the bat to start the round. And before you tell me to get an aircraft carrier or a carrier flagship, it's not doable. It's just not doable in a real game, so just trying to replicate this as close as I can, but 90 is just too tough, man. You need the carrier flagship for 99, otherwise you're dead. Nothing else can pop DTs. This is the best we can do. So I think in the end, I spent all this time trying a challenge that, ultimately, was not doable. Because you'll see real soon, these BFBs and ZMGs, they're gonna run right through. And there's nothing I can do about it. So yeah, if you guys want to feel free to prove me wrong, and maybe this is possible after all, well, I'd love to see somebody try this, but... I just don't think there's a way to afford all three of these things. This, this, and then a flagship in one game. You just don't have enough. And yeah, you'll see already. We're gonna leak to that. So not even close to being 98. That's game. Chimps only with water towers. Not gonna be doable. At least until we get an easier uh, water map that, you know, maybe has more water than this. Even though this one is already pretty pretty full of water, considering you had 10 of these, but nope. 10 ain't enough. So yeah, that's it. That's enough time spent on this challenge for me. I'll see you guys in the next challenge, slash video.